We're going to do a quick overview of creating your Member Hub website. From your Member Hub dashboard, you'll just click on Website Builder and then Website Admin to begin creating your site. If it's the first time you're coming in here, then you'll have a new button right here at the top that's going to say Get Started. And when you click that Get Started, then you'll see that list of pages that you can create. You're going to start with a home page to start with, which is going to have that layout of landing page. This is what a lot of people use as their home page. You do not have to stick with this landing page, but we're going to go ahead and look at that one first. You'll see on your landing page, you can edit that web page. So you'll click on the three dots and edit web page, and you'll see that you have an image. You've got a title, a little subtitle that you can enter as well, and then a few sections. You've got a title section here, and then you can put some details, and then a get connected title section again, and you can add some more details. And then we do also have the ability to feature products from your store right here as well. And you would set those feature product settings from your online store products page. You would just click the little check mark that says feature product on your website, and that'll make it show up right here. Um, so this is a really easy starting point for your landing page. You'll see here that I do have some menu items across the top. These are the other pages that I've created. There's space for six menu items across the top. If you do create more than six pages, then you'll just need to create links somewhere else. So within this page, maybe I would add links to some additional sites that I've got hosted here on my number hub page that may not show up here in the menu items. And then by default, your store will have a link. And if you've enabled product fundraisers, then you'll have a link for that as well. So back to editing, we do also have a few other uh, types of sites that you could create. So to create a new page, you would just click add page, and then you get to give it a name. And then you create a path. So this is just going to be what's going to show up on the URL at, in your extension. And then you get to choose that layout. So there's the landing page layout, which is what we just saw. There's a content page, which is very similar to the landing page. It just has only one section instead of those three sections that we saw on the content page. Events pages will show all of the events that are public on your member hub calendar. So it'll just be a list of the events that exist there. Your officers page, if you're part of a state contracted PTA, then that officers page will have your officers as entered in your compliance section of your site. If you don't have a compliance section, then you won't see that officers page. And then lastly is the custom page editor. And this is where you can get really creative with what you wanna put in your site. And we'll look at that really briefly. And um, you'll also see that you could can choose dates during which you might want to have a page visible, especially like if you have an event that happens, you know, every year, but it's only needs to be public for a certain amount of time, then you could use it and then reuse it next year. You also have just a quick like is live or is not live button. So if you are working on a page, you could have it hidden for a while. I don't need to create this new page because I do already have um, some custom editor pages as well. So, um, and so let's talk real quick. You can see here, you can also organize the order that your pages will show up in as well. So you just drag and drop and put them in the order that you want. The top six are going to be the ones that show up in that menu list. And then let's look at this one. We'll click edit web page. And this is the custom page builder. We use a tool called Unlayer for creating these pages. And you'll see that you can create sections and then create objects within those sections. So here, um, we, you can start with blocks. You can drag and drop a block to create a block that you would want. If instead you wanted this block to have columns, you could have, you could drag and drop a two column block instead. And then you just click on add content to choose the content type that you would like to add. So if you want to enter text, if you want to put in custom HTML images, etc., you would just choose that type of content and then you would get to fill in the information relevant to that content. So here for image, I get to put the image URL if it's a public file, or I can upload an image dragging and dropping or clicking on this upload image. So you can come in here and play around with this and see you've got a lot of stuff you can do here. So for example, here we've got a text block where we've got text. We've got an image block where we've inserted images. Um, more text blocks, but see how it's divided nicely into columns here. So you can set this up to look really nicely for you. And then you're always going to want to make sure you either save or discard your changes so you're not losing things that you uh, have worked hard on.